Hi. Hi, Dr. Joe. How's it going with Hi. you? Hi. Good to, good to see you. Doing very well. Thank you. you as well. And it's an honor for us to have you here with us. I mean, the students and the audiences are waiting to hear from you and more about the why behind the mat. So what we're going to be thinking about now is really what is mathematics? That's the question I asked you at the beginning. What is maths? And I see maths as having three areas. Number sense, and I know lots of you have been doing great work with numbers this morning. Shape and space, and you've also been thinking about space and visualization, I know with your previous deck guest. And then data science is the emerging new area of maths that is really important. And But I also wanted to share with you some, some areas um, in mathematics that you should be thinking about as you do maths. Collaborating, talking with each other about ideas, so important. Using your intuition, we'll be thinking about that in a moment. Looking for patterns, um, as I talked about at the beginning, and thinking visually. So let's think a little bit about each of those. And I'm going to start by giving you a problem in numbers to think about. So here's a tricky problem, but maybe with the tips I gave you earlier, you can think about this. What is the answer to 18 times 5? See if you can think about that in your head. It's a good one to think about in your head. 18 times 5. So I see some answers coming in. And I'm curious how people worked them out. So um, I know that lots of people, when they're asked the answer to 18 times 5, they um, do this. They put up 18, or in their head, they think 18 times 5 is called an algorithm. They can't do 5 times 8 and carry it, and they go on like that. But um, there are lots of other ways to think about 18 times 5. So here's one of them. Some people think, well, I'm going to work out 20 times 5. Some people think, I'm going to work out 10 times 5. Some people think about 9 times 5. And in all of these cases, I've shown what it looks like visually. So now what's really important in number sense is to be able to think flexibly with numbers, maybe change numbers into others. I don't want to think about 18 times 5. I'll think about 20 times 5 and then take off two fives. It's really cool to actually just play with a calculator. Um, that's what I did in a lot of my childhood. What's really cool is that numbers are everywhere in the world. Wherever you look, you see numbers. So being comfortable and flexible with numbers is really important. But another area is also really important, which is shape and space. And I know you were learning about that earlier. So I have another question for you, which is a harder one this time. I'd like you to think about it, maybe with your parents, is how would you think about one divided by two thirds? So a lot of people think one divided by two thirds, and I'm looking at your chat responses, which are great, is you do a calculation, you turn things up by side down, something called flip and multiply. Um, but actually, there's a lovely visual approach to solving this problem. And um, I'm showing it to you here. If we think of one in this visual way as a rectangle, and we think of two thirds as a rectangle, we actually can see that one set of two thirds goes inside that rectangle, and then another half of that two thirds. That's why we know that one divided by two thirds is one and a half. And so thinking visually in those ways will really help you. Um, we know that our brains actually um, want to think visually about maths and that when you think about maths in different ways, your brain is having all these amazing connections that are really important. And one of the people I shared last time I was here that I love people to think about is uh, Mariam Mirzakhani. She won the Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics. All of her work was visual. Uh, she did a lot of high level important mathematics without numbers. Um, Mariam actually, when she was in school, was told by her teacher that she couldn't do maths, that she was bad at maths. 
And so it was really great that she went on to win the highest honor in the world and was looked up to by all these mathematicians. So thinking visually is really important. And I'm going to give you another question to think to think about now, which you can think about in any way you want to. And it's called the turkey problem. It comes from my friend Ruth Parker. And this is the problem. You're, you're told someone's on a diet and they go into a shop to buy turkey slices. They're given three slices, which weigh a third of a pound, but their diet says they're only allowed a quarter of a pound. How much of the three slices can they eat? So that's a hard one. I'm going to give you a bit of time to think about that one. And um, I can see some people uh, saying, yeah, it's hard. Is it one? Is it one and a half? Is it? So I can tell you that a lot of people, when they're given a problem like this, they set it up as a calculation and they do some hard algebra. And I'm showing you that calculation on the screen. Three slices are a third. So I make it into X. But I wanted to show you what one nine-year-old girl did when she was given this problem. She said this. She said, um, they're given three slices, which weigh a third of a pound. So she drew out three slices and said, if three slices weigh a third of a pound, then I know that nine of them are a pound. And I'm asked how much is a quarter. So I'm going to take my nine circles and make them into quarters and then add them up. So again, just a beautiful visual approach and thinking visually in these ways is super important.